oral or laryngeal leukoplakia has an increased risk for malignant transformation, but the risk of the two anatomical sites has not been compared to each other yet. This study found that patients with dysplastic leukoplakia have an increased risk of malignant transformation, but the risk is higher with laryngeal than with oral leukoplakia. Additionally, there is no significant difference between the groups regarding survival with leukoplakia-associated cancer. Oral patients with no dysplastic lesions have a low risk of malignant transformation. Complete excision and long-term follow-up are suggested for high-risk patients to diagnose cancer in an early stage and to control late, over 10 years, malignant events. This article was authored by Botond Bukowski, Janos Fodor, Erika Toth, and others.